Let's show you how it went down in the big house. This is how the flag went down. But as for the game, the red zone was an issue really throughout the game. They didn't score a touchdown in the red zone, Michigan Howard. Yeah, it's a little bit of an issue that they got to get corrected in a hurry. We saw the overthrow of Grant Perry, the overthrow of Kiko Crawford, and on a third and goal, Wilton Spate. Oh, he's very fortunate here. Yeah, that doesn't best get picked off. Of the day. Keep it on the ground, young man. Let it 9-6 at the half. Early third quarter. Fourth down for Air Force. The punt from Charlie Scott and Donovan <laughs> Peoples-Jones. Mm. We've been looking for this guy to have an opportunity. He's going to go right here. Yeah. You could tell just the way he was going. This is really good. Is he going to score, too, Donardo? This yeah. is the yeah. longest punt return by a Wolverine in 11 years. Steve Breston last to bring one back more than 79 yards. Michigan on top 16 to 6, but Air Force striking back. Ronald Cleveland, 64 yards for the touchdown. That was the lone completion of the day for the Falcons. 16-13. But Karan Higdon seals the deal. It was already a two-score game with just over a minute to go when Higdon it's took it in for the score. 36 yards for the touchdown. And Michigan gets the win as the Wolverines do improve to 3-0 heading into the Big Ten opener next week at Purdue.